what's up guys on for you reach out to me and send me this wall light for free they did not pay me for this review but they sent this to me for free to do an honest review so here we go so i'm gonna unbox this thing i'm gonna set it up install it and stuff and do uh just show you guys what it looks like and stuff give you guys my final opinion at the end so unbox this thing uh comes with instructions uh, obviously if you don't feel comfortable installing this then please don't uh, dealing with power is always dangerous and i will say i'm not a licensed electrician uh, but I am going to install this. I'm obviously going to make sure the power is off and everything. And yeah, so if you don't feel comfortable installing this, then please do not because it can get dangerous. Anyways, this is kind of the back plate. So we have this little thing for like a placeholder. And this is pretty much the light. So unboxing this thing. So it looks like there's free spin. Looks like these are the spinners. So you open these up you put them from side to side and then you could tighten this you know uh you know bring it this way that way same with this other side and same with the back so this part appears to be plastic this part appears to be metal these are kind of shaped like heat sinks to obviously uh, reduce the heat and you have your three standard wires at least in america these are typically the colors where black is alive power white is neutral and green is ground those are typically the configurations at least for america i don't know of, about other parts in the world and this thing is designed just to take 100 to 120 volts so it's not compatible with the 240 it uses 50 watts and it's 417 milliamps and it's 5000 lumen lumens with a 120 degree beam angle all right so that's pretty much that and i believe it came with screws and stuff so yeah so you get your screws you get your anchors and uh yeah so let's get this installed and we'll go from there all right time for the installation so a few things they suggest on their installation they basically uh, want you to use this back plate attach it directly to the wall so pick your spot mine's gonna be there but basically you would attach it here they provide the screws and the anchors you screw it in you attach this and you bring the power wires through these holes and then you connect them to these uh obviously the corresponding ones and again if you don't feel comfortable doing this doing this please don't do it because working with power can always be uh, very dangerous and you obviously want to make sure you wire it correctly otherwise that's going to cause its own uh, set of problems so yeah so just a warning just yeah uh, you guys get it like if you're not comfortable please don't do this so if this is your first time doing it probably not a good idea probably ask someone or get a professional or something so, but anyways, the clips that they use, so if I was connecting the live wire, so they provide three of these clips. So I'd basically attach this, uh, slide the power wire in, the live wire, and then slide the power wire here to provide power to this thing. And then this would tuck in over here. And then there's a hole through this, you can see it through the camera, and they provide a really long screw with the Allen wrench that you basically attach it to this and it screws in here. So when you put this on the back, when you tighten this, it attaches the back plate to this and then you can obviously adjust the lights and you're done. Now, I'm gonna do it slightly different. So what I'm gonna do is instead of attaching this to the wall, I'm gonna attach this to that little round plate I put up there. I feel like that's a better idea if you ask me personally. Uh, luckily, they do have the holes for that that are aligned. So good job to on for you for doing that and for predicting that, you know, if you have an existing one or whatever, because that's a standard size. And the other thing is um, for these, I'll, I'll check these clips, but I might actually just go with these uh, wired connectors where you spin them on. I, I typically really like these and sometimes I use electrical tape. Uh, not always, but sometimes I do. I'll see if I need to. And then obviously they would tuck in. But basically this would attach there. Now, what do you need for installation? <clears throat> so it depends <clears throat> what kind of screws you're using. So I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver because I'm using both of the type of the screws. They come with the Allen wrench. Uh, so the one provided should be enough. And always make sure your power is off. Super important. And I use this non non-contact i always forget the name but it's an ac voltage detector it's a non-contact ac voltage detector and this is how it works so i turn this on and it's green that means there's no power so if you hold this to the live wire 
and you don't have to touch the live wire you just get close to it it can even be through a sleeve so the black is the live wire if I hold it it's off it tells me power is off there's no power you don't hold this to the white or the ground you hold this to the power when you hold it to the power it shows that and obviously don't do this uh, if you're not sure what you're doing it's it's this can really be dangerous I'm not th seriously this can be dangerous but I'm gonna turn on the light switch temporarily to show you guys how this works so if I turn on the light switch now there's live power so I have to be super careful now when I bring this close see how it, it turns red and it starts blinking like crazy like dude there's power here be careful so I left the breaker on just so I could turn on the light switch so you guys could see how this thing works. I will put links in the description below. This thing is beyond amazing. Uh, literally could be a lifesaver. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna go turn off the breaker as well before I work on this because it's always a good idea to turn off the breaker. The only reason I left it on was just for the demo. But anyways, so I'm gonna go turn that off and then I'm gonna start installing it. I'm gonna film that and we'll do all the tests and stuff. Okay, so I've turned off the breaker and everything's turned off, but I'm just gonna double check so we can see that there's no power here, so we're good to go. Now I could start. I forgot to mention that if you needed to cut, you know, cut or clip these wires or anything like that, then you will need a wire cutter and it probably helps to have a plier around as well, just so you could, you know, if you needed to touch the wires to each other. Now the clips they provide, you don't need that, but uh, you don't need a plier at least, but we're gonna see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip this, uh, cut this a little bit, just cause it's a little longer than I need. And we're gonna get started. So let's, here we go. So I feel like this is probably long enough. Somewhere around here is, is fine. So I'm gonna clip that, I don't need that. Uh, I have my box cutter to open this up. It's funny how I forget to mention like one or two uh, device, one or two uh, things that's actually useful in having. But everything I use, I'll put product links in the description below. Okay, so here we go, separate that. 14 gauge. This one is not quite long enough to, to attach this wall plate to this and I think the reason for that is because it's designed for this wall plate to go directly on the wall so they can't make this too long so it's actually done like that on purpose. But because I've attached it to this, I think these four screws that I've attached this back plate to this, uh, whatever you call this, this round plate, that's causing, uh, that's causing this to sit like a millimeter. It's, it's kind of pushing this whole thing like one millimeter this way. And as a result, this thing is not attaching. So I found a longer screw, so I'm gonna put in a longer screw. So yeah. All right.
right, so just finished installing it, ladder's still there. So I'm gonna do, a, basically show you guys what it looks like at night. So I'm gonna turn off the light so it looks like it's very, very dark and then I'll quickly turn it on. So here we go. So dark. And that's what the lights look like. So it looks very bright, especially around here where it's showing. And it, it still gets fairly good uh, coverage to the walls. Obviously, the cars are blocking some of that. But if we take this a little to the right, it's quite a fair bit of coverage here. So you could see that the lights are good palm trees lit up everything looks good so quite a lot of light from this little light so that looks good during the unboxing I thought that the sensor itself was a motion detector but it wasn't it's actually a light sensor and what it does is during the day it automatically turns off the light and at night it automatically turns on the light so I have it hooked up to a light switch so obviously if my light switch is off nothing's gonna happen but because I have it hooked up to a light switch, when I, when I turn it on and I leave it on permanently, this light will stay on during the night and automatically turn off during the day. So that's pretty much how it's designed to work. Now, what do I think? What are my final thoughts on this product? Well, in terms of installation, honestly, I was expecting to install it a little bit uh, faster, quicker. And two of the things that came up that were, I, I don't wanna say an issue, um, just because it's kind of designed that way so I don't really blame them but it would be nicer if the wires were a little bit longer uh, they made the wire shorter on purpose which is pretty much for most cases it should be short but because I was installing it on that little round plate behind it it would be nicer if it was longer and I could have actually done the wiring within the round plate and then just attached it that would have been easier rather than pulling out the wire and putting it in here and and putting it inside that little uh, indented or curved part within the light. Now again, it's designed like that on purpose because if you're putting it directly on a wall, I mean, that's where you're supposed to put it and the wires are supposed to be short because there's really not much room there. So yeah, the other thing is that the screw was literally like a millimeter short um, from attaching it to the wall. Uh, but granted that was also because I, the other screws I was using were kind of I feel like pushing it back just a little bit more So I did have to find another screw So those are the two things but again you're installing it once so it's not really a big deal But I was expecting to install a little bit sooner than I actually did So just giving you guys a heads up of what happened to me now in terms of light quality I think it's really good thanks to its LEDs because it's low power. I believe it's 50 watts and obviously gives off a lot of light, which is really good. It's the cool daylight. If you guys are interested, obviously you can see that. And LEDs in general are designed to last a very long time. So I expect this thing to last. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment sections below. As always, thank you guys for watching and thank you to all my current subscribers.